Aussie DIY. Stay safe and have fun. Welcome to another video from rcdiy.ca. Today we're going to take a look at timers in OpenTX and specifically we're going to look at timers linked through the top throttle stick. So from the main view, press menu to get to the model select screen and then press page. In the setup screen, scroll down till you reach the timer one field, press enter and turn the knob till you get to THS. Press enter again and then you press exit, exit and now we're going to take a look at what the THS mode does. If for some reason you find that your timer isn't at zero, you can first zero it by clicking on the enter key, then clicking on reset, and then clicking on reset timer one. So now we're going to move the throttle stick up and the timer starts and we're going to move the throttle stick down back to zero. So when the throttle stick is down all the way again, the, th the timer stops. So with the THS trigger, the timer only runs when the throttle stick is above zero. And now we'll change that to throttle percent. And click on exit, exit, back out. I'm going to reset this. Now we're going to give the throttle about 25%. As you can see, the timer is now running very, very slowly. So the timer speed is, a, is, a, is now a percentage of the throttle stick position. So if you move the throttle stick all the way up, it's at 100%. So the timer will run at one second intervals. If you put it down to 50 second to 50 percent then the timer slows down by 50 percent and if you move it down to zero then the timer stops running again. I myself like using this mode for as a countdown when I want to know how much battery I have remaining. So I fly the plane a number of times and I get a feel for how much time I get with a particular battery and then with this if I'm flying at full throttle obviously the battery runs out faster so I want the throttle to run faster and we now take a look at THT there's an enter, there's an exit, an exit, back you're out I'm going to reset so there you go, now the timer is at zero and nothing's happening so now I'll put the throttle up and now I'll put the throttle down now you've noticed I put the throttle back down but the timer keeps running. So that's what that trigger does. So now let's take a look at some more settings. I'm going to change this to throttle percent for the rest of our, our settings. And now I'm going to put in a predefined value of, let's say I'll make it 10 seconds and now it starts at 10 seconds now I move the throttle up Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the name field. Over here, you can give the throttle timer a name if you desire. For now, I'm just going to give it a name TM. And there you go, that's where the name shows up. Persist mode keeps the last time you have the timer on, even if you power cycle the transmitter. So we'll first check what the flight setting does. And 
and now we're going to give some throttle up and now you see that the timer has started running. So now I'm going to power off the, t uh, the transmitter and then we'll power it back on again. Welcome to OpenTX. And as you can see, the timer has kept its value. So if you now want to reset that timer, keep enter pressed, and press reset, and you say reset flight. And now the timer has been reset. Manual reset. So, let's get the timer going. Put the throttle down, the timer stopped. Now I'm not going to do a power cycle again because I've only shown that to you once. So let's take a look at that and let's go take a reset. Let's take a look at what the minute setting does. To demonstrate that I'm going to increase the time to just over a minute so we can see what happens when it crosses the, the minute mark. Now for this to work, you need to have your SD card installed with the sound pack. So there are a number of different countdown options. You select the field, you press enter, and you have the option for beeps. And these usually start at about 30 seconds. So going to set the time to just past 30 seconds. The next setting after beeps is the voice option. So this one will do the same except with haptic vibrations. I won't demonstrate that because it's not easy to do over video. So that's it. So that's basically going through all the different timer setting options you have. I myself always use the throttle percent along with the time setting along with the various countdowns when I fly my planes. This really removes the need for an external time clock, which let's face it, I'm sure at some point we've all forgotten to start the timer. This video is accompanied by a blog post whose link can be found in the description below. To support this channel, please like, subscribe and follow the links below.